What's up, Trek Nation? Welcome back to After the Snap. I guess you can tell this is going to be a little different. I am sitting here in anticipation of the first episode of season two of Strange New Worlds. You could call this Strange New Worlds Eve, but what I'm here to report is that Strange New Worlds hate is in full effect already over on Twitter and the other social medias. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. As you know, Star Trek, just like many other franchises, has a, a, a habit of making out a press list and sending out episodes to people to watch and review prior to the season opening. So, yeah, I got, I got feelings. You could call me a hater because I'm not on that list. I'm not big enough yet, but you guys can change that by hitting the subscribe button and turning your notifications on so that you will not miss any discussions around Strange New Worlds or any other Star Trek related content. But anywho, the Strange New World hate is in full effect. Now, I'm saying this because somehow the people who have made the press list are also people who were... Uh, abundantly behind Terry Metalis and the Star Trek Picard season three production. While that's not necessarily a bad thing, Terry Metalis has his own set of fans and those fans are going to be behind anything that Terry Metalis does. So in essence, um, some of their loyalty is not to Star Trek and making Star Trek good and or better your loyalty is to Terry Metalis. While that is certainly their prerogative, some of these reviewers have a huge sphere of influence on YouTube and Instagram and, and all of the social medias. So using their sphere of influence, their campaign now is that Terry Metalis has nothing to do with Star Trek Strange New World season two, so let us arbitrarily shit on this production and say that it is invocative of everything that they hate about Star Trek. How this has no understanding of what Star Trek is about and that they are now in essence telling their um, audience and their very vast audience, might I add, that it's not worth their time. In my opinion, that goes completely and totally against what it is that they say they want. They say they want more Star Trek. They say they want this Star Trek legacy show, but what they really want is for Terry Metalis to take over Star Trek. And I know I sound conspiratorial in nature, but this is giving me all of the Zack Snyder feels. So if you are familiar with the DC universe, and the division that is in that fandom, we are experiencing our own version of that in our fandom. Now, by no means am I saying that these people are expected to like Strange New Worlds. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is, if you are a fan of Star Trek, there is a way to have the conversation that does not alienate new people from Star Trek. If we want to have a conversation about what could be done differently or what could be done better in order to improve this universe, uh, we have to watch these series as they come out. And yes, you can subjectively say, this is what I didn't like about this series. Where we go wrong is by telling people that there is no value in, these, in the newer series. Uh, to include Star Trek Strange New Worlds, which, by the way, is one of the most critically acclaimed shows by both the critics and the audience. So to say that Star Trek Strange New Worlds is having a Star Trek problem, no. I don't think Star Trek Strange New Worlds is having a Star Trek problem. I think these reviewers are the ones with a Star Trek problem. In my humble... These people do not want to see Star Trek grow up. Star Trek is more than the series that came before it. But we run into this issue with the fandom. Every single time we get a new series, it happened with TNG, it happened with DS9, 
It happened with Voyager, with Enterprise, with Discovery. And now we're bumping into it with Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Uh, even with Star Trek Picard, we dealt with it in the first two seasons. It was only when Star Trek Picard went back to something that the old guard in the fandom was comfortable with. The characters that they already know so that they can say, look, 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 I know this person or I know that guy. It was only when Star Trek Picard did that that it was received by that branch of the fandom. I am challenging Star Trek and her fans to allow the series to grow up. Yes, to revisit some of the things that made us feel good in the past, but also to be more progressive and forge a good future for Star Trek, a future that is going to continue to uh, court new viewers as the series progresses. Because eventually, the old guard, people who have been fans longer than I have, Eventually, they're going to be gone. Then eventually, I'm going to be gone. And the class of fans that came in with me, they'll be gone too. We want Star Trek to survive into a strange new world so that a younger generation of fans is cultivated and that they grow to love the series in the same way that we do. That they will go back and watch the original series moving clean up into Star Trek Strange New Worlds. And for them, that will be the old stuff. That's what I want to see for Star Trek. And for many fans, they agree that this is what we want for Trek. We want it to be around in the next phase of the world, this universe, because eventually everything old will die away. For Star Trek to survive in this new era of television, this streaming era, things have to change. The way we consume television has to change. So if we have Star Trek series and we want more Star Trek series, the idea is to bring more people to the streaming service that is creating Star Trek series. And then they will see based on the numbers, whatever it is, whatever number they are looking for. Based on those numbers, they'll see it is um, in their best interest to bring in more Trek. So if you want the Star Trek legacy show, you have to support the Star Trek that is on Paramount Plus right now. This is, again, this is not to say that you like this stuff. We can have a conversation about whether you like or dislike but if you're not, if you're telling people don't even bother, they're not going to subscribe to Paramount Plus. And then you're going to see Paramount say there is not enough interest in Star Trek. They were interested in Star Trek Picard. So we'll just continue to run those reruns. What is the point of making a new series when the people are not supporting them? They're not behind them. That, to me, is a huge mistake that the old guard, who is not trying to understand the way streaming works, that's a huge mistake that they're making. And they have the numbers. They have got hundreds of thousands of, of viewers on their YouTube channels. They are huge influencers in this space, and they are using their influence to talk people against the very thing they say they love. If that's not counterintuitive, I don't know what is. So I guess to wrap up this little mini rant session that I went on, and this is no diss to any influencer, I'm saying we need to use those powers for good and not evil. I am telling Paramount Plus to go ahead on, put me on the list. Not saying that I'm gonna kiss y'all butt, but I am going to at least be critical in a way that is diplomatic, where I am not talking people against the show. In fact, I am inviting people to disagree with me openly if they like, and we can talk about uh, the ways that we agree and the ways that we agree to disagree. But anywho, I am very excited. We're 12 hours away 
from Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 2, Episode 1, entitled The Broken Circle. It is written by Henry Alonzo Myers and Akiva Goldsman, and it is directed by Chris Fisher. Join me here on Sunday when we take a deep dive and explore everything that there is to explore in this episode. We do that on the show called Engage Live, Sundays at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. I hope you'll join me. Um, everybody who has some sphere of influence, more than my little influence that I have over here, please do your due diligence. Let's help keep Star Trek alive. If we have to be critical, at least, at least give constructive criticism where the writers, directors, execs know what it is that we like and what we dislike and what direction to go in the future. But also, let's not rob Star Trek of a future. Let's not pigeonhole our franchise to uh, continuously go to the well of the past instead of boldly going into the future. With all that being said, I am Tasha Pierce. This has been fun. I will see you in the next one. Live long and prosper. Peace. Thank you.